Why? Stop. <laughs> Why is this thing not hot? I swear to God, if anyone says welcome to womanhood, I'm gonna lose my shit. I'm just curious though, in, in, in your experience dating, is this promiscuity we see on these podcasts, is that, do you see that? Is that happening? Are women that promiscuous? Yeah, I would say the average American girl, her body count is equivalent to her age. Pretty oh much. Oh my God, I yeah. could just vomit. Oh, yeah. where's the button? Yeah, you know about my nasty? I don't. Nasty. Okay, that's me saying nasty, but I coined it. Rolo has it on his, um, what does he have it on? A switchboard? MLD's got it on. Everybody pulled the nasty, but that is nasty to no, me. It, that's pretty much the uh, average girl now. Is Ooh, If she's disgusting. above 18, her body count is probably equal to her age. I want to get my Jordans dirty. Can I, can I get everybody to help me? Please, everybody help me. Get on the side. Get on the side. Oh, oh, thank you, brothers. I appreciate it. You want to get in the back? Can't mess up the chase. So when you create a new account on Hinge, they like boost your profile to get you matched with hella people. Bitch, I made mine last night and I woke up to 50 plus likes and now I'm just like searching through the trash. Honestly, a lot of these guys are like five foot. So Who the hell are you? Six one? Okay. I'm only here for the six footers. Plus size travel struggles 2024. Still can't fit in the plane lavatory comfortably. Still can't walk down the aisles comfortably. Still can't use the tray tables. Still can't go through security without getting an extra pat down. Still can't fly without asking for a seatbelt extender. Still can't find plus size clothing in stores or souvenir shops. Still can't enjoy the pool if it's not accessible to us. We're gonna fall through the third floor. Sweetie, it's just a little wind. <laughs> Oh my gosh, where's the power whistle? I'll be right here. Being a girl means going to the grocery store and having every man in the place stare at you while you're just trying to like pick tomatoes out of the produce aisle because I'm a girl. There's actually a California leash law. Let me educate you. Let you me educate should, you. you should. Go back to China. I'm, oh wow! I'll put this on my platform. I'll put this on my TikTok. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I'm just we being. TikTok too. I'm just. I don't want your dog to get hurt. That this you, is the woman who you called are me not, a bitch when she moved into our neighborhood. You're not putting your dog on leash. A few weeks ago, she moved into our neighborhood. You're and now she's the most leash. hated woman on our block. And then you're breaking Everybody California. No. Everybody you're, hates you you're now. You're breaking the and California. Me a bitch one and you're a racist for being outside my house. Stabbing Karen. And I'm just <laughs> educating you. You're an Asian you. Karen. You are. And you I'm look just, like one. I'm just, you I'm look educating like educating you. You look like one. I'm just you educating. Educate me. Yes, Go it's free education. Thank you. You're welcome. You are going. Um, whatever you put me on, lady. Yeah, you told me. I, tell me I to go back call. to China. I should. What did you tell me the last time I was here? Go back to your no, country. No, I'm you tell me. asking yes, you nicely. Is. You know what she said the last time she met me? She said, "Bitch, go back to your country." So do I have to look Asian to be told go back to my country? You're breaking the. I'm recording the you too, so, lady. So this is what I'm, happened. Did you say something to Jennifer too? This is did something. You? Did you say something to Jennifer behind you? That did you. you? You Did should you? put your Jen? dog on leash 
Because you're breaking the <laughs> California law for you're so unpopular. You're breaking the California you law for we don't want you on this block. On the leash. We don't want you on this block. You're, you're so actually breaking California law for not putting Listen, dog here on leash. There's a police station so up the top I of the am, road. Go up and do what I you want to do. I will come. I will send this video. <laughs> oh my God, you're going to break my camera. A, you're so ugly. I'm not. <laughs> I am. I'm asking you nicely. So you, you are don't being know a how Karen. to ask anything nicely because you call me okay. a P-I-T-C-H. I'm done. And until I have, you apologize, you are, you are, we won't start again. You are breaking California apologize for law for not putting your dog bitch. on leash. I apologize, I, am, I said. Do you understand English? I am do educating you, you, you understand that you're breaking California you law, English? the leash law. Do you understand English? Okay, I'm done do with you. <laughs> Do you understand and English? I will formally do you listen? Do you want yeah? Right okay. In there. What's do you your last name? English? What's your last name? Wong Kong Hai. Okay, you're being a racist. <laughs> this is going yeah. on. Yeah, this is going I'm, on I'm, my TikTok. I am coming. She told me um, to go back to my country and complaint. eat potatoes the last time I met her. Oh. So she's a racist and skibbity fortnight. Skibbity skibbity fortnight. Skibbity fortnight. Skibbity skibbity fortnight. Skibbity fortnight. Skibbity skibbity fortnight. Skibbity Fortnite. It's an honor to be with me. Like, and I'm not saying that to be like up myself, but I'm a good fucking person and I love fully and wholeheartedly. And if someone is stupid enough to let that go to waste, then that's on them. And girls and guys, if anyone makes you feel like you're too much, tell them to go find less. Because you're not too much. You'll never be too much for the right person. Alexander Stein. Yo, Council, it's me, uh, Alex Stein. Hey, Mayor Johnson. I know a lot of people right now are criticizing you because you're going through a terrible divorce and your wife, Nikita, is accusing you of sleeping with your staffer, Mary Albana. And Mary Albana was your chief of staff, and then you went and paid her $100,000 after you... Uh, after she was your chief of staff. But what's funny about this is, like, I don't think it's bad. I think it's good. 
because all the top politicians have cheated. Bill Clinton, Monica Lewinsky. So you uh, hooking up with your chief of staff, according to your wife, not me, in your public divorce, this is good for your political career. I know you switched from liberal to Republican, and now you've gotten all the support, but you don't have to grab them by the P, you know what I mean? You don't have to go full Republican. What you need to do is you got to respect your wife, because I don't think Mary Albana will be a good stepmama, and uh, you're giving her hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's ridiculous, because, you know, I do think that cheating is bad, personally. But I think for politics, it's probably good, Mayor Johnson, that you did this. And listen, I'm Team Nikita. You know I'm Team Nikita all day long. And you know Nikita is not lying because she had that ring doorbell camera where she supposedly caught you with your chief of staff. And then you had this relationship. According to you, you said that you'd done it a dozen times in your court proceedings. So this is all on record. You had Tim Rogers from the D, uh, D whatever, that stupid magazine he's from, come and testify because he supposedly had inside information of your divorce. So this is really messy. It's just funny. You're typical of a politician. And now I understand probably why your hair is balding so bad because you're probably really stressed. You're dealing with all of these, your, your staffer. You're taking your staffer to your house. You're sleeping with her. Not, not according to me, according to Nikita Johnson, your wife, your wife, the mother of your children that you do not respect enough. The, you, the same house where you put your little kids to sleep at night, you're taking your staffer there and you're sleeping with her. According to Nikita, this is not according to me. This is all in the court documents. So you're going through a messy divorce. And I just want to say that a person that would cheat on his wife that he has kids with is probably a scumbag, He's probably not a good guy. And if he would cheat his wife, he'd probably cheat the city. And then on top of that, after he gets caught cheating on the girl, then he goes and gives her $100,000 because uh, Mary Albana runs a group called Adept Political uh, Consulting. And so then you gave her $100,000. Maybe you gave her, and I'm just speculating this, I don't know, maybe you gave her the money so she wouldn't tell on you the fact that you guys are having an affair. I don't know this. I'm just speculating this. I'm just a concerned citizen worried about the mayor. But you know, I'm primetime 99, so I always end with a song. Nikita Johnson, Nikita, I know you miss Eric's Chiquita, but there's other bananas. I can be your manna. I will be the dad to your little babies. I'll be stepdad. So Nikita, call me. I'm going to treat you right. I'm not going to cheat on you, Nikita. I'm not going to sleep with my chief of staff. I'm a pimp on a blimp, Nikita, but I'm not a scumbag. So I'm doing this for you, Nikita Johnson. We stand Nikita Johnson. Time. No cheating allowed. Time. You're a scumbag.